The UWA Black Belt STEM Education Institute was created in 2022 due to the low performance in math and science. The institute was created in order to make a difference in the scores in Alabama as well as the training for the teachers and the opportunities in STEM for the students. The University of West Alabama has a history of being a teaching institution. So the Black Belt STEM Institute fits right along with that tradition of working with teachers to better their classrooms, but also with the STEM Institute, it is that outreach effort to enhance the education that the children in this region in particular are getting and their exposure to STEM in all of its various forms. The Alabama report card was in the bottom five for many, many years. And so that need was being noticed at the university. And Dr. Miller, who was the Dean of Education, wrote to the state in order to start this institute to try to make an impact on uh, the STEM opportunities for teachers and students. When you look at the state of Alabama and you look at the workforce, STEM education is a big part of Alabama. We realized that and we wanted to make a difference. Kids only know about careers that we talk about and that we teach them. So through this program, we're able to promote excitement about STEM education, help promote careers, future careers. So throughout the program, the ultimate goal is to have better trained teachers and better prepared students. This is our chance, I think, to reinvest in the Black Belt, making sure that our students and teachers are well prepared. That involves giving them the, the tools and the skills that they need to be competitive. And also, I think it is helpful in attracting businesses back to the area because we have a pool of, of people that they can potentially hire that are well trained and well versed in these new science areas. STEM education is particularly important in the Black Belt region because it has a historical, rich context in terms of its culture and the background that it brings. And so it's important in the Black Belt region because it helps us in terms of allowing students to develop skills that they need for in-demand jobs, as well as developing innovative technologies and emerging technologies that students may not have access to within their specific school system. Because we have the STEM Institute here at UWA, it allows us to be here locally and our students, they can compete with others, you know, in the Black Belt. And it gives them the opportunity of just learning how to be team players, how to communicate, how to work together, research, building, the whole engineering process with the VEX Robotics program. So it has given them an opportunity that we did not have here. So the STEM Institute here is it's awesome for our kids. One of the ways that I'm seeing progress within the Black Belt STEM Institute is through engagement specifically with secondary and early education teachers. And so their support and their ability to become early adopters of some of the professional developments that we offer, as well as some of the programs that we have, the robotics, the competitions, the drones, a lot of the information that we're able to provide to them, they're excited about. Through the STEM Institute, the financial assistance, the equipment, everything, they provide us with everything we need. So whatever we need for our students, all we have to do is reach out to the STEM Institute and they make it happen for us. As a teacher in a black belt community where resources are limited, when we have a resource such as the STEM Institute, that is just awesome to us and it helps us tremendously to get what we need to our students. The University of West Alabama's Black Belt STEM Institute is an outreach effort in which we are trying to enhance not only the classroom experience of students throughout the region, but also to help increase the knowledge of the teachers who are in those classrooms. We don't want to be one and done. It's nice to have events that bring people to campus or to go and see those classrooms. But if we're going to affect real change in STEM education, then we have to also help the teachers become stronger so they can continue those efforts. If there was one thing that I got as feedback from students, which were science teachers, it was that they really appreciated extra content and depth of content about subjects relating to STEM. So what we've been able to do is to teach some professional development courses to really fill those gaps and give them that kind of content, and that gives our teachers more confidence. Through this grant, we have 
science mentors, math mentors, science coaches, math coaches, we know that teachers, particularly elementary teachers, some of them are fearful of math or maybe science, so they need additional support. So providing that coaching, that modeling, that opportunity that you can do this, let me get in your classroom, let me demonstrate, it builds their confidence. One of the leading factors that led me to join the Black Belt STEM Education Institute was to work directly with students that are in school systems that are underserved and under-resourced and that may not have a quality STEM education. And so to be able to bolster that and to facilitate STEM education and STEM learning across the state of Alabama is, is initiatives that I can get behind is one of the reasons that I wake up every morning. I think the future is really bright for the Institute. This area has great teachers, great students. They work hard. The only thing they're lacking is resources. I want to close that gap, and I think there's no reason that these schools around here can't compete with the best in the state.